All right, first off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakudash, the Wadi Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, for allowing me to do another video through the Spirit, the Wadi Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, for giving us his truth as worms, double honor to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and say, taste and blessing to the whole elect. And the title of this video, Esau, you're guilty. And I want to, uh, I want to play this video real quick. And, uh, I was, because I was reading this, I was listening, I have this book well the brother has this book and he let me uh borrow it I've, but i've had time to read it but i've been wanting to read it so i just went i looked it up on youtube this audio book and man esau you're guilty man you're fucking guilty man the crimes that you've done present day <laughs> and the prime crimes you've done back then and even as the greeks and the romans you're guilty man you're fucking guilty for the crimes that you've done against the children of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai against the Israelites. So I'm let some of this play from this book, man, because this shit is just Esau. You're you're man. You're just cruel, man. You're cruel. You're a cruel ruler, and you're gonna be punished by the heavenly Father. So I'm gonna take it back by about a minute and let you hear. Because a couple times in his in his listening, in his listening to this audio book. Dude said the in the book because he's reading right off the book. The the uh, Bar Bartolome, which is a the author of the book, he he basically said a few times that the things that he's seen, if he wrote re written them down, it would just be horrifying, man, and it'll be horrifying even unto the reader. So he didn't write it down just before the fact. It was too gruesome, man. It was too. It was. It was just dirty, man. It was wrong. What you did to the to the northern tribes, and you northern tribes, you man, you northern tribes, you so-called Latinos and you Native Americans, you should despise the so-called white man. You should you should have the deepest hatred for them, man. You shouldn't want to be late. And you you Mexican women who dye your fucking hair blonde and want to be like the white woman, you should despise yourself for that, man. This man, this man forced you to believe that through, man, he went through the Española to Mexico, man, and then eventually to the Americas, raping and killing you, you Latin tribes, man. There should be no reason y'all should be trying to act like the so-called white man or believing in some white God, man, named, named Jesus, Jesus Christo. His name's not Jesus, man. He's not no fucking white boy. The name of the heavenly father is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai, and he's your, it, and that's, and, and he, the, it's a skin tone of what you used to be anyways, but of, if you would do modern day, he'll look like your, your brother, because we're brothers, Judah, man, because our Lord, Yahweh Shai, stemmed from the line of Judah, meaning he, he was a dark-skinned man, and he is a dark-skinned man, with an afro, but you northern tribes, man, y'all want to try to act like, Act like this devil and want to be like him. And this is why, man. This devil destroyed and killed y'all. That's the reason y'all do it. I need to break from that slave mindset, man. There was one account in this book, uh, where where basically the 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 Jakes, the Israelites, in the northern tribe, they said, "Look, we just gonna play along with. It. We gonna act like we worship Jesus and 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 go, and go along with this whole Christian thing." Just so they wouldn't kill us. And you know what they fucking did still, man? They fucking burned them, man. They burned them. And they was, they was going to go along with it. It's like, yeah, we be, we basically be Christians. We'll follow along. And they still killed them, man. And, and, if, and when they took the council with each other, they was excited. They're like, yeah, we found a way to get around our families being killed and massacred. And they still did it to them, man. They, you, you fucking devils, man. You Edomites, man. You Edomites have a lot to pay for, man. So I'm gonna let this play. Herself, the preeminence. This entire region was more populous than Toledo, Seville, Valladolid, Zaragoza, and Faventia. And there is not at this day in all of them so many people, nor when they flourished in their greatest height. And splendor was there such a number as inhabited that region, which embraceth in its circumference 480 miles.
sword, computing men, women, youth, and children, above four millions of people in these their quests or conquests, for under that word they mask their cruel actions, or rather those of the Turk himself, which are reported of them, tending to the ruin of the Catholic cause, together with their invasions and unjust wars, contrary to and condemned by divine as well as human laws, nor are they reckoned in this number who perished by their more than Egyptian bondage and usual oppressions. There is no tongue, art, or human knowledge can recite the horrid impieties which these capital enemies to government and all mankind have been guilty of at several times and in several nations. Nor can the circumstantial aggravations of some of their wicked acts be unfolded or displayed by any manner of industry, time, or writing. But yet I will say somewhat of every individual particular thing which this protestation and oath that I conceive I am not able to comprehend one of a thousand. End of section eight. So that was the point, man. And that was the end of section eight. So if you go to the book, if you have the book, you can go to the section eight. And that's the latter part of that of the of that chapter. So you you, you heard it, man. You heard it from Bella Bella to, Bella Tome de, de la, la Casa. What they did, man, they said. Even to divine right to mankind itself, these men are, are are basically guilty for everything they done, man. For all the cruelty that they did to these people that were at peace with them, man. They were not trying to fight. They were not trying to battle. They were trying to just dwell and be peaceful. But you devils, man. Came through robbing, killing, and pillaging. So you know what's gonna happen? The same thing y'all did to us, we're gonna do to you. You're you're going to be paid back for every every crime that you've committed. You're gonna be paid back for, man. Straight up. You're gonna be paid back for all this all the slaying, all the blood, all the all the bloodshed of the saints of Yahweh by Shemiao Shai. You're gonna be paid back for that, man. You're gonna be you're gonna be paid back for that and in double, man. That's why that's why your fucking kingdom is falling, man. That's why your kingdom is falling. Look at that. 144 The the your wicked kingdom is falling because you touched the hands, you touched the people of the Lord, man. You touched the apple of the most high's eye. The scripture says plainly that Israel is the apple of the most high's eye. It's in Deuteronomy. It says, I will keep thee as the apple of my eye. And you touched them, man. You touched the Heavenly Father's people, man. His precious jewel. So you're going to have to be paid back for that. This is 2 Ezra 15 and verse 17. Uh, 2 Ezra 15 and verse 7. Therefore said the Lord, I will, hold, I, will, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in, in those things in which they wickedly ex, ex, exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cries unto me. And the souls of the just complain continually. Therefore, saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive me all the innocent blood from from among them. Behold, my people are as led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. So you're going to be paid back for that, man. Now, in this kingdom, when you get blasted with a nuclear missile, and you elites uh, make it, and in the kingdom of heaven, man, because yeah, yeah, you Edomites, you have a, you have a role in the kingdom, man. It's to be fuck. It's I'm sorry, I'm gonna stop cussing. It's to be slaves, man. Your role is to be slaves, man. That's your role because your your judgment is to go through what we went through, and even worse, man. Even worse, man. This is uh, Revelations 13 and verse nine. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patient and faith of the saints. 
So you led the saints into slavery, man. You enslaved the saints of the Heavenly Father from the from Judah all the way to Issachar. And you and and then you northern tribes, you so called Latinos and Native Americans, you are the Israelites, man. You are the people of the Heavenly Father, and there will be justice for what happened to you, man. Hey, God has not forsaken y'all, man. God has not forsaken his people. Yahweh himself, through his son Yahweh Shai, has not forsaken his people, man. Don't lose hope, man. The Lord has not forsaken us, man. We forsook him, but even then, he'd still have a mercy on us through his son Yahweh Shai to accept us back into the covenant, man. So, man, don't forsake the Heavenly Father, man. Believe on him, man. Believe who you are. Yeah, it was beaten out of y'all, man. You was beaten to the to the man. To, man, that book is fucked up, man. That that might as well be called the murder stories of the of the northern tribe. That book is horrifying, man. The things, and I'm only an hour in. The things that they did unto our people that are written down are horrifying, man. It's horrifying, man. And the worst part is they was trying to be at peace. They only they only start fighting back when they were pushed up to the brink of insanity. It's like, man, we can't do this no more. We got to do something. They even had it till the women had to fight. And, that, and that's off, man. But that's all they had. It was a men. At one point, they, the city was a men and women fighting. And they lost, man. But this is a. Uh, Genesis 49 and verse verse 18. I have I have waited for the for thy salvation, O Lord. Gad, which are you which are you Native Americans, a troop shall overcome overcome him, which that happened, man. The troop, man. The the cavalry, man. Esau Edom overcame you Gadites, which are you Native Americans. And a Gad is broken, man. I've been to a reserve, man. Our people, them, them Gadites are, are, they're broken, man. That's a broken people. They, they feel defeated. They feel defeated and they, they feel like there's no hope. But there is hope, man. There's hope. And y'all by Shimei Aoshai. I, man, I, I remember that, man. They, that's a broken people, man. They're broken warriors. Gad, a troop shall overcome. But he shall overcome at the last. That goes for all you northern tribes at the end of the day, man. You, you Gadites, man, you Native Americans, you're going to have your revenge, man. We're all going to have our revenge on this man that enslaved us, man, that brutally destroyed and pillaged our people, man, our women, our children, our families, our old, our young. Yahweh Shimei Shai is going to recompense us, man. He's going to recompense us, man. He's going to do unto them what, what, what uh, he's going to recompense them, Salakia. He's going to pay them back, man. He's going to do unto them what they did unto us, man. Because that, that should, man. The, the Lord the Lord hears the cry of the humble, man. He, he, he hears us. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 30, 35. Might be 36. Oh, yeah. This is Ecclesiastes 36 and verse 17. O Lord, hear the prayer of thy saint. Actually, is this it? This is it. I know it's in the 30s. Says he pierced, the prayer of the humble pierces the cloud. Oh, right here. Isaiah 35, verse 17. The prayer of the humble pierces the clouds. Until it come nigh, he will not be comforted and will not depart till the Most High shall, shall, shall behold the judgment to judge righteously and to execute judgment. For the Lord will not be, be slack, neither will the mighty be patient towards them till he Till he has smitten in sunder the loins, of the loins of the unmerciful, and repay vengeance to the heathen, till he till he have taken away the multitude of the proud, and broke the the scepter of the righteous, till he have rendered 
to every man according to his deeds and to the and to the works of men according to their devices till he till he have judged the cause of his people and made and made them rejoice in his mercy Ooh. mercy is seasonable in a time of affliction as clouds in a rain in, a, in as clouds of rain in a time of drought so amen it said made them rejoice in his mercy the lord yahweh by shimmy Shai ain't gonna leave us just to be slain and slaughtered by this devil anymore even when these things happen on this earth which are about to happen during jacob's trouble the lord's gonna save his elect out of it and then and the ones that that die on this side are gonna come back and get their revenge on this devil man the Lord is not going to let Esau go unpunished. Esau, Edom, you so-called Edomites, you are not going. I mean, you so-called white people, you are not going unpunished. You are going to be judged for the crimes that you've committed against the Lord. How about Shemi Shai's people, man? You will be punished, man. And punishment is coming soon. This is Isaiah, uh, Zechariah 11 and in verse, in verse 4. Who, for thus saith the Lord, my power, feed the flock of the slaughter, whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty, but you are guilty. And they that sell them say, blessed be the Lord, for I am rich and their own shepherds pity them not. For I will no more pity the inhabitants of the land, saith the Lord, but lo, I will deliver the men, everyone. Okay, yeah, that's basically the point. So the, hey, the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, hey, he's going to deal with you, man. He's going to deal with you, Esau, Edom, because you're the possessors that slay us and hold themselves not guilty. You think you don't think you've done anything wrong. But what does the scripture say? Since thou hast not hated blood, blood shall pursue thee. Get that and close it off. This is uh, Zechariah. No, not Zechariah. Ezekiel 35 and... uh. Yep, 35 and verse 5. I'll start at 4. I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord, because thou has not, because thou has had a perpetual hatred, and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord, power, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Since since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. So be prepared, Esau. Be prepared for the for the for the big payback, man. Because you're about to pay, be paid back for all the crimes that you committed against the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the Lord's people, the Lord's chosen people, the precious jewels of Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai. You touch it, you touch the Lord's uh a treasure house man you basically robbed the heavenly father you stole his 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 precious jewels which are his people and you think you're gonna get away with robbing the heavenly father hell no vengeance is coming man vengeance is coming to you devils man so with that i hope this lesson was edifying and uplifting man and, and maybe piss some people off because you should be mad at the, the the crimes that Esau Edom had done to your people, man. Said that it, it, what he did was basically unlawful even to man itself. What they did unto the to the Native Americans. <laughs> hey, man, we going to do worse to you, man. And you want to know something? It is just in case some Edom might see this. Well, two wrongs don't make a right. Yes, it does. Two negatives make a goddamn positive, man.